Hey guys, and welcome back to us dealing with Nathan. It's like those montages you get in movies. Right. Time passes, you wait. Time passes, let's ask him about that. Time passes? Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event to change. Like a murder. Dr. Decker's murder? Madre? Dr. Decker's murder was sudden. Brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. Do-overs? I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. Move you forward? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not okay. enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Uh, did you see Dr. Decker's murder? No, oh, right, okay. Um, guess I can't, uh, in control? I'm not in control, Doctor. Look at me. I'm broken. You need to help me. How can I help you? How can I help you? Right, what's your problem is the same as how can I help you? Got it, got it. Time sometimes passes. It looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be different. I don't know. Sorry. Right. No, that's my fault. I wasn't specific enough. Uh, the bird song changes. I don't know anything about it. Right. No, you just mentioned it. Why would you know anything about that? Sometimes to be honest, it's my fault, it really. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less. Do you often feel bleak? What? I don't know. Okay, century. It does feel like it's been a century, but no, it hasn't been that long, actually. Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or the weather will be less or the bleak. Weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't... Doesn't do it today. But it doesn't okay. usually change. You need a tragic event to change. Tragic like event. A murder. Tragic. Tell me about tragic events. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. Okay. I pulled out and the lorry just rammed me. Well. Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through her. That was five years ago. Who is Hannah? My fiancée. Who was Hannah? My childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. World of Warcraft? She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry, it's Warcraft. We spent a lot of time on there. I forgot nearly everything he said because I was listening about Warcraft. Uh, Warcraft? What's that? I'm we a doctor. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. You know what? Maybe I'm just grinding life. I actually really feel that. Warcraft was a total grind. Uh, grinding 
life, maybe? I'm not really fit for work anymore. Okay. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Builder? Builder? I used to be a builder. Contractor. I had to quit. It's hard okay. watching a house get built only to start all over again the next day. I needed something less obvious. <sighs> Maybe you need stimulation in your life. I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Okay, well, I'm sorry I asked it before, okay? Uh, Laurie. No. Tell me about the accident. No question mark. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. Mistake? No. I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and change something to move forward. Okay. Um... Laurie? Right, tell me about the accident. Uh, I guess that is better than Laurie. Uh... Do you feel guilty? No. Sorry. Uh, you do, you just don't know what the you don't know what I'm asking. <sighs> do you feel responsible? What? I don't know. Let's try adding in Hannah's name. Guilty over Hannah? Uh, and if I say do you feel responsible for Hannah's death, it's gonna be the same thing. Hannah's Sorry, got nothing. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're we're working through it. Uh, Doctor Decker's murder doesn't really have give us anywhere to go from there. Um, do you have anything in our notes? Nope, nothing about Nathan. Okay, uh, let's go back I didn't through see this. The driver. <laughs> it was your fault. I was fine for quite a while after there the we accident. Go. Well being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? No. No, we're going into that. Uh, Dr. Decker caused deja vu? I don't understand what you're asking. It's like you've taken two separate questions. Okay, and yeah, them yeah, yeah. I, I need to, I need to do deja vu, but not Doctor Decker. Okay, deja vu. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Okay, there we go. That's good. Um. Help. I can't answer that. Okay, I'm not. I'm not asking you for help, obviously, mate. I'm trying to, like, get you to. Okay, he's not wearing shoes either. Why is no? Do people not wear shoes when they like? Because I, I've been to psychiatrists or psychologists or whichever one it is that you're supposed to go to to talk to, to work through shit. Like for my anxiety and and you know that kind of stuff. Um, I I wore shoes the entire time, and so did the doctor. Unfortunately, I didn't keep going to that doctor because she was super hot and really nice. And that's not good for someone, you know, in that situation. Because you're, you're like, you're like being vulnerable and shit. And I was just like, no, no, I need a new doctor. Um, and yeah, sorry. But yeah, always wore shoes. That's just, just, just all I'm saying. Um, let's have a look back at this quickly. I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in... 
Fit for work. Look, okay. I'm not really fit. Uh, work in produce. Uh, prod produce. I don't have an answer to that question. And That's fine. Uh, super my ma ma supermarket supermarker nope still still that okay let's keep going i'm not really fit for work anymore i work in produce at the local supermarket that mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy lifting 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 i don't have anything to say about okay that's fine that's fine uh fruit and veg i don't know anything about okay okay look we're, we're gonna get there let's go What's back to the bill murray film Grand bill murray bill Murray. Murray. I don't know. Sorry. It's fine, mate. We're figuring it out. Has Have we finished Nathan? Oh, no, we haven't finished Nathan yet. Okay. I watched uh, that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's... Relationships. Uh, you haven't had any relationships. You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. Have you tried dating? No. Sorry. Yeah, doesn't help us there either. Okay, okay. Uh you should move on. I don't have anything to say about that. Okay, it's fine. We'll get closer to each other, we'll understand what makes What's that you Bill tick? Murray film, Groundhog Day. To see if there's any clues. To see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Looking for a cure. Can you help me, Doctor? Any clues? Yes, I can help. You asked me that yesterday. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I fucked that up. Yes, I can help. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This, this is our first time around, and I trust you. Oh, does, has that taken everything? Has he gone to... Nope. Uh, any clue? Nope, 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 nope. Any clues? No. Sorry. Nope, nope, no. That's fine, that's fine. That's my fault. I should have known that that wouldn't work. Um, I'm not really fit for work anymore. Not fit for I work. I work produce at the local supermarket. Produce. And mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy. And doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Okay. Day resets. I'm 57. I'm kidding. Just if you spent the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. Wow, I got rid of everything here. Um, murder. Nope. Um, yep, Dr. De okay. I need a hint then. I should ask him about Decker. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. What was Dr. Decker like? It's not just his murder. What was Dr. Decker like? Dr. Decker was a complex man. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, that's, my, time with him. that's me being but dumb. He won't remember it that way. Uh, he won't rem remember? As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. That me, is how it works. I had Monday 5, 10, 50 times before I got to Tuesday. There we go. Okay, so we can follow up on Dr. this. Dr. Decker was a complex man. Complex. A uh, complex man? I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like he couldn't decide what to do with himself. No two days alike? He was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. Oh damn, I got Nathan to green. 
Sweet. Okay, okay. Uh, now we <laughs> we could go back to Mariana. Hey, hey, oh, pumpkin. Um, <laughs> but let's let's keep on going, Elon. Hi, Elon. Yes, I can talk about all of that. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, how about hi, Elon? Let's keep it simple. Um, how are how are you doing? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Why? Why, why does it do that sometimes? Uh, stressful. What, what does it do that where it like starts on about their chest and then like and then like moves up to their face? It's weird. I think it's supposed to simulate eyes. But yeah, weird. It can be sad sometimes. No, it's stressful. I don't like losing a patient. She's a doctor a or job. a nurse. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Okay, you don't losing a patient. You know Okay, I was hearing bird song, and I was like, you know what's really annoying is that bird in the that's like tweeting in the game makes me think that it's like six in the morning and just starting to get light kind of thing. Although it's winter at the moment, so it doesn't start to get light yet. But it's it's actually a bird outside my window. I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. Uh, patient deaths. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. Um, okay. What would you like to know? I feel really bad I can't answer your questions. Um, I like animals. Let's talk about that. Okay. Uh, what animals do you like? I love animals. Especially cats. I think everyone is either a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? I am a dog person. Dr. Decker was a dog person. Maybe it's a therapist thing. Yeah, could be. I had a friend who, I can't remember what she said, psychologist? Dr. Decker. Therapist, that's right. Yeah, one of my therapist colleagues was also a dog person. It's a small wor world, isn't it? They call me the Angel of Death. Right, okay. Because so many patients cool. have died on my shift. Uh huh. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. So, yeah, one of my therapist colleagues was also a dog person. It's a small world, isn't it? Led to her talking about being called an angel of death. So, let's get back on track, because clearly she does have something she wants to talk about. I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Well then, talk about work. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. Okay. Uh, end of life care. Continue. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable making sure they're not in any pain and I talk to them I keep them company some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming well those of them that aren't out of it on meds I comfort them you do an important job you should be proud I don't know I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. No, no, you're fine. Uh, you don't, you don't have a response to that. That's cool. Uh, how are you doing? What else have we got here? I started seeing. 
a few months ago. A few months ago. Uh, I'd been seeing him for about nine months. It's more than a few, but okay. Dr. Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. So she is a Dr. nurse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Your problems. Your pr problems. Right. How are you doing? Okay. Stressful. Let's go back to stressful. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. So she didn't... But that's the job. That's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Job. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> right, no, no, that's my fault. I wasn't specific enough. Uh, it can be sad sometimes. Sad. Uh, how sad is it? Nope. Right, that's stressful too. Uh, hmm. Lots of things we have to get through. Right. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. Let's try losing a patient again. Losing a patient. No, sorry. Right, yeah, no, it was it was the same last time. I don't know why I tried it, it again, to be honest. Sometimes. It's my fault. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Uh, are you sure you don't get stressed about the job? Aha! It's not the job that stresses me. There we go. It's the people I work with. The other nurses. They're mean to me. And that is where it goes in to... <laughs> That's where it goes into this. They call me the angel of death. Wait, let's just check. Mean to you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so how did it get there? One of my therapist colleagues was also a dog person. It's a small world, isn't it? I don't know what it, I don't know how, but that somehow led into this. They call this. me the Okay, let's let's go into Angel of Death. So Angel of Death. They're old. Yep, they People are. They die when they're old. That's true. I mean medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes though. Hmm. Okay. It's not the job that stresses me. Yeah, no, no, I didn't mean to they click on They call me the angel of death. Because so many patients have died on my shift. Uh, die on your shift. Question mark? I don't know. No, that's fine, that's fine. They call me the angel of death. Because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's... Not your fault. Not your fault. Nope. Okay, we've done that. Uh, they don't mean it. I don't know anything about that. No, we're, we're going to carry on. We're going to find, we're going to figure this out. Do not worry. They call me the angel of death. Okay. Because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Okay. How many patients have you lost? Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. Okay. Tell, yell me about Hilda. Yeah, tell me about about Hil Hilda or Hilda. She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me though. Smother? Right. Uh well, I guess we worked through that. So we've got end of life care still to get through. Don't worry, we're almost done. We're almost done. Wait, are we almost done? Uh, No, we're actually done. Okay. 
yeah, we're, we're, we're actually done. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we will finish off Ellen, Elin, Ellen, Elin. We'll finish off this lovely lady in the next episode.